One of the other amazing signs of the, the time that we are living in, for me personally, is the fact that science is being restored to God. We um, we have the we have the announcement and we have the breakthrough of the new physics in our lifetime, a physics that dictate particles and waves to move in both directions of time. Nowhere was the solution to this problem found because even though the equations of physics dictated this in the natural world that we see with our eyes, <coughs> we only see the forward movement of time. We only see particles and waves moving forward in time. And the other part uh, was uh, um, totally inobservant. And many great scientists um, looked into this matter and tried to solve this matter. Many scientists were tormented by this problem. The fact that the mathematics of physics actually dictate that particles and waves should move um, forward and backward in both directions of time. And so what happened in modern physics is the fact that, you know, the modern books of physics have to have had to, to prescribe that the movement of particles and waves in, 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 in the backward direction had to be thrown out. And so, but now, but now, what is so important is the fact that the, that a great breakthrough has occurred with regards uh, to this matter, and this has been the res the research of uh, Georgi George Ryazanov um, from the Landau Institute in Russia, a Russian Jew who is now living in Israel in Jerusalem and he actually has solved this problem and um, what people like Einstein and Wheeler and Feynman have been looking for for a long period of time um, has now been solved and what, what has been so amazing um, in the, the solution of the new physics in the solution of particles and waves moving in both directions of time is that we are dealing with two cosmoses. We are not dealing with one cosmos in which uh, we observe particles and waves moving forward in time. We are dealing also with another cosmos in time, but this uh, cosmos, this universe is not, um, it is not observable to the natural eye, but it very well exists 